Greetings everyone, Cameron McCasland here, coming at you with a bit of sad news. Um, I just saw a report through Twitter, Harry Knowles was saying that Dan O'Bannon had just passed away. So I just wanted to um, pass on condolences and just kind of say that um, Dan O'Bannon was, you know, a very influential person. He made, you know, a lot of great stuff. If you don't know who he is, you should check out some of his movies. I, I do have a couple of DVDs that I'll show you that are worth taking a look at. Um, he was a writer, a director, did a did a ton of different stuff, you know, in Hollywood in the 60s since for like sci-fi and horror movies and things like that. So um, I'm sure many of you already know who he is, uh, and I hope that you will do your own videos this week just kind of talking, you know, about the stuff that you liked about his movies. Um, post it up there for people to see because I do think it's important um, whenever anyone passes away to, you know, show their work, uh, build that legacy up, and, you know, pass it on to another group of people. If you've never seen any of his stuff, um, I'll give you some quick stuff to check out. Um, I just kind of pulled up this off the shelf. I don't have a whole lot to say about them. Um, you can look things up online, and they're going to you know, be a lot you know, more meticulous in the reviews than I could be right now. But just want to show you a couple things. Um, Blue Thunder here, which I haven't even popped this one open yet. Um, I think I had replaced a copy of that. Um, Dead and Buried, which I know just got a re-release, so it is out there. Um, Total Recall, of course, which I'm sure several of you have seen. Uh, he wrote uh, this right here. Um, another huge, you know, sci-fi horror film, Alien, uh, which basically Dan O'Bannon uh, did a lot of the writing for. He created the whole, you know, Alien mythology, uh, the Ripley character, and which has just stood the test of time. Definitely, um, I think what a lot of people would consider his crowning achievement in the sense that he wrote it and directed it as the Return of the Living Dead. Um, which is a great movie, one of the, the better um, uses of horror and comedy in the same film. I know um, from watching some of the people that I subscribe to um, that you guys have seen some of this stuff, obviously. Um, if I don't watch your videos, I would love to see them. If you do do a Dan O'Banner video, I would love it if you would post it as a video response here, just so I do get a chance to see it. Um, if I don't subscribe to your channel, hopefully I'll have a look at it and I maybe see some things you know, or hear some things from you uh, about how those films, you know, moved you. Again, this is all just happening, so I, I don't have a lot of details. I do know that apparently he had been sick and in the hospital for the week. Um, again, Harry Knowles was the one who reported it. it that he's got a, a short little um, biography up on Any Cool News that you could check out if you'd like. Um, but again, uh, you know, just take a little bit of time, you know, watch some of these films in the next few days. Just get a feel for it if you've never seen it again and you have any questions, you know, feel free to message me or leave me a comment and I'll be I will try to answer them better than I could now. Again, this is quick capture. I had no plans on doing this video uh by any means, but just kinda wanted to scrounge up a couple things and pass on uh what is seemingly bad news. But again, he did live a very full life and uh was up in years at this point. So um rest in peace, Daniel Bannon. See you later guys.